So, let's talk about what's going on right now. Oh, yeah. Nestorius and Elysium and all that stuff. Well, they're going through some type of dispute. And the crappy thing is because I thought this was it. I thought this was we were going to finally be able to play on a server that had the blessings of Blizzard and everything. And apparently not. Okay, so a lot of people don't understand that Nestorius kind of has nothing but except for their core game plan of okay from Blizzard. I don't know if they just didn't have the money to start up, you know, their own servers or whatever, but Elysium is the one that has that's been hosting Nestorius and all that and allowed everyone to transfer over and everything like that. So what we've been playing has been on Elysium servers or whatever. They just named a server called you know, Nestorius PvP and Nestorius PvE. And those were all transfers from the original, you know, Nestorius server. So that's what, that, I guess that's what they mean, like, you know, stop taking our data. But apparently, they allowed this to happen. So I'm guessing some, some at some point, there was a dispute about something. I don't know whether it was about money or, or what it was really about. But now I guess Nestorius you know, feels that maybe they're being taken advantage of or something. The post, the posts that I'm reading, to be honest, are a little bit petty coming from both sides. Now, Elysium sent them a post, guess replied to their post or whatever, saying, you know, this, this post just seems very crazy. I'll have the link in the description to both of the posts to be honest, so you guys can look over yourself, but what I got from it was pretty much, you know, unprofessionalism and, and things like that, like, it kind of scares me, because I don't want to spend so much time leveling up, and, you know, just killing myself, leveling up these characters on fucking, you know, vanilla type rates, you know, just to get... Just for the servers to go down. So, I don't... Everyone's confused right now. We don't know what's going on. And this is... This is crazy to me. Um, Nestorius is accusing Elysium... Elysium or whatever... For stealing their stuff. Right? So... Nestorius did give Elysium something. Like a core or something like that. I think they're allowing them to use their core. So people can get the natural vanilla wild experience. And stuff like that. But I'm guessing what happened was Nestorius was like, hey, you guys can use the core or whatever under certain circumstances. And Elysium, you know, instead of taking that mile that Nestorius gave them, took two miles or so. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a, there's a disconnect somewhere between both of these people, both of these, these groups and stuff like that. I mean, but at the end of the day, Nestorius is who got the okay from Blizzard. So... You know, no matter if, no matter what, Nestorius is the only server or whatever that's, that's, that, that can operate, you know, a private server without Blizzard, like saying, hey, you know, and cut it out. And, and even that's still, that's still on the table. That's not like something like maybe one day Blizzard changes their mind and it can do that. They, they're perfectly within their rights to completely change that if they want to, but in the meantime, the Starius would be the best bet, period. So, if these two guys go at it, head-to-head, -head, you know, Elysium and the Starius, well, it doesn't matter how good of a core Elysium comes up with and everything like that, whatever, because they can still be cut down. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't, at the end of the day, Elysium didn't get blessings from Lizard. The Starius did. So, at the end of the day, the Starius runs the house right now. And to be honest, you know, the fact that these people are button heads and there's problems, you know, I don't really, I, I don't really know what to say. Like, there's no way I'm going to continue playing on either servers. And I know it, it, it sucks because I wanted that old school feeling. I wanted the nostalgia, you know, of playing. And I know a lot of us did, but... I mean, we have to admit, it's a big investment for something that's unstable like this, you know? So, I mean, from this post, the post, the reply post from Elysium was pretty much like, 
155% increase of active accounts compared to Nestorius. 50% total accounts were active in the in the last seven days. 17,000 players online on relaunch. 30,500 players online over four realms so what they're basically doing is showing their stats or whatever I don't know to be honest it wasn't the uh, Elysium didn't bring us to this to to this server you know it was the okay from the Nestorius that Nestorius got from Blizzard is what sparked everyone's interest to be honest it wasn't this announcement of oh Elysium's going to be doing a new server and stuff like that I know a lot of people are kind of like really pissed at the fact that you know the stories is asking for information back but stop and think about it why are they asking for the information back like what's going on what did Elysium do like maybe the stories is asking them to stop taking their information and stuff like that because Maybe it's it's maybe it's breaking rules or whatever that Blizzard, you know, didn't want them doing. Like you know, maybe, you know, you have to wait. Look at the bigger picture. I don't really, we don't really know what's going on yet fully. I mean, we just have these two posts, and all these posts are pretty much saying it's like, you know, the story is just like, hey, stop taking our information, please. You know, we want our information back or someone. We want our core back and everything. But why? It's not It's not just out of the random. It's either about money. Either way, whether it's over petty stuff or whether, you know, it's over, you know, maybe Blizzard having a problem with this other server that didn't really get the okay because it's technically we're not playing the Starius service. Like, we're playing on their core and what they created, right? But we're playing under the host of another other, uh, other people like you, you get what i'm saying like we're not playing on nestarius so technically do do we have the right you know what i mean or we don't nestarius has the right we're not on a nestarius server nestarius doesn't have servers is nestarius gonna get servers and start their own server i don't know but that's the big problem this is why i'm out this is why i am not going to be playing anymore um, until Nestorius actually has their own servers and they're hosting their own things and they're abiding by the rules that Blizzard gave them to abide by to have this server legally up, <laughs> then why risk it? You know what I mean? For servers that can just get shut down just like that, blink of an eye, boof, gone. And, you know, like I said before, that's the reason I'm out.